And uh, today we are going to share um, some of our healthy holiday hacks. So say that 10 times fast. Healthy holiday hack, healthy holiday hack. It turns into something else now. <laughs> Um, okay. So I'm going to start because I think one of my superpowers is truly consistency. Um, do I fall off? Yeah. Cause I'm human. Right. But what I want everyone to know is that even when you fall off, right, you just jump back on, just get back on track, be fast about it, you know, and, and try to not spend a lot of time in the, um, the disappointment part of it, right? The, yeah. And, and, and shorten those, that discipline, that disappointment, discipline your disappointments. That's what I want to say. Um, and try to just really shorten that time frame so you can get back on track. So yeah, if I, I'm going to go to some holiday parties, but some of my hacks are, if I know that there's might not be the type of food that I want to um, eat, I'll eat before I go. I'll fill my stomach a little bit and then maybe just snack on some of the other things that I do choose um, to eat. Um, and I'll, I'll, you know, try a little bit of this and that, that, that I normally wouldn't um, because that's a treat, right? It's just not what I do every single day. So um, yeah, I hope that that will encourage you because it's just holidays. You're going to these parties and um, you know, there's the alcohol's flowing, the treats are flowing. And so we're not saying to not do those things, do those things, treat yourself, but then just get right back on track. Um, so if that's what I have today. I'm going to pass it over to Andy. Thanks, Lori. And um, I love, I always love how you're, you're like, you know, if you don't beat yourself up, if you, you know, you fall off the wagon, don't hang out off the wagon for a week, eating donuts every day back get back on the wagon like you get back on the horse right so i love that um uh and i love how i think we're doing kind of minds a little bit of a mindset one and then a practical you know tangible one and then a mindset one and then a tangible one so this is fun uh, my tangible one is a gluten-free swap so if you could swap one thing this holiday season pick one thing that you can swap because I think one, they say that if you do one thing consistently for 21 days, then it's a habit. And um, then those habits, those healthy habits can start to stack on top of each other. So um, I recently launched a, a gluten-free sourdough workshop. Um, if you want to learn how to cook, bake gluten-free, that's a great foundation because you can use that recipe in a lot of different ways. Um, so reach out to us to get added to that group. Um, and I believe you can search the group gluten-free sourdough with live with vitality and it'll come up too. So, um, and then you just request to join and, um, and we'll let you in and you can see some of the magic behind the curtain on making gluten-free sourdough bread. Um, but yeah, sticking the, the point is to pick one thing and stick with it. So if you, if it's dairy that you want to maybe cut out this holiday season, then just stick with dairy and focus on dairy. Because if you're trying to cut out five or six things at once, or you're going to say, okay, I'm not going to eat at all when I go to the party or I'm not going to snack or I'm not, you know, like all of those not going to do's, you know, the little rebel brain inside your brain is going to do them because that's just how the brain works. That's how our inner child works. Like, don't tell me what to do. I'm going to go do that because I can. So reward yourself for being healthy um, with something. It doesn't have to be a, um, a negative kind of treat, you know, um, travel or something, you know, a day, a night out, but think about that too. reward yourself and then try it, try one switch. So, uh, Chris. Thank you, Andy. Yes. So holiday, healthy holiday hack. What can I think of? What can I suggest? I would say use your intuition, intuition, your intuitive intuitiveness. Uh, you know, you kind of know what you should be doing. So don't deny yourself over the holidays if you want to have something a bit daring, a bit, uh, a little bit out there. We, we all do it. Uh, don't deny yourself because you're only going to do more of it later on. <laughs> so I would suggest getting active in some way. Uh, if you're going to have a chocolate something or a big cake or something or something like this, try to be, do something active more than what you've done throughout the year. 
go out for a walk. If you, if you do nothing at all, go out for a walk. And then perhaps if you like that, do it again the next day. And if you like that, go a little bit longer. And if you like that, go a little bit faster, more of a brisk walk. And if you're still liking it, you can go into the new year with a little jog. And it all adds up. Yes? So you can do the naughty things, but you can do the positive things as well and balance it out. Life is all about balance. Balance is everywhere, all throughout nature. Find the, the balance. And you can do it. So that's my uh, healthy hack. And that's what I'll be doing myself. My, myself. So I'm going to pass on to the wonderful Hannah. Thank you, Chris. And all these tips uh, were amazing. And I have a healthy holiday tip as well. Um, I sometimes go to cocktail workshops. And I absolutely love them. But uh, what I do, I come home and I... Uh, like switch the alcohol in the cocktails and uh, create a recipe to make it a cocktail, uh, mocktail, sorry. And I'm loving now combination of our uplift, juice plus uplift with pomegranate uh, juice and orange. And it's just amazing. So we can put the recipe under this. So again, wonderful tips. Thank you very much for listening uh, to our Live with Vitality coaches. And please share this video because I'm sure there are so many people who would appreciate all those tips. So next Monday, we'll be here again today. So again, thanks for listening and have a lovely week. Bye.